to apply graphical method to this quadratic equation. This must be a function of y. This means that the value of x will keep changing in this equation. To keep it simple, we just say that the quadratic equation is equals y. Next, we are going to draw a table. Next, we are going to consider some range of integers. Here, I will choose from minus 2, maybe, to 4. You are free to choose any suitable range of values. Next, I will now input from minus 2 to 4. Next, I will substitute x equals minus 2 into this function. That is, when x is minus 2, we are going to have that y is 15. Next, when x is minus 1, y will give us 4. Next, when x is 0, y will give us minus 3. Next, when x is 1, y will give us minus 6. Next, when x is 2, y will give us minus 5. Next, when x is 3, y will give us 0. Next, when x is 4, y will become 9. Next, you are going to need a graph paper. From the table, let's plot for the quadratic function. When x is minus 2, y is 15. And this is the meeting point. Next, when x is minus 1, y is 4. And this is the meeting point. Next, when x is 0, y is minus 3. And this is the meeting point. Next, when x is 1, y is minus 6. Next, at x equals 2, y is minus 5. And this is the meeting point. Next, at x equals 3, y is 0. Next, at x equals 4, y is 9. And this is the meeting point. Next, we are going to join all the points with parabolic shape. Next, determine the point where the curve cuts the x axis. The curve cuts the x axis at minus 1 over 2 and at point x equals 3. When a curve cuts the x axis at two different points, it is called a real and distinct route.